let's have a look at our SonyQ software. What you see here is the configuration of our display to get some view meter, to have it a little bit alive. But to explain SonyQ to you, I will use one of our example projects. So what should you remember when we talk about SonyQ? First of all, it's really quick and intuitive. Why is it so quick and intuitive? It's two main things. The first is the guided workflow concept. So you have three main steps, set up, tune, operate. And inside these three main steps, you have submenus. And so you basically design your system in setup mode. When you're done with designing it, you go to tune mode, you do all the queuing, leveling, whatever. And when you're done with that, for example, when it's commissioned, then you only want to monitor and supervise it. So then you would go to operate mode, just watching view meters, for example, and load status. The second important thing when talking about SonyQ, besides this guided workflow, is the flyout concept. And that's the real magic because when you are, for example, in tune mode, you have all the relevant parameters instantaneously available. Like if you want to change the delay of your subwoofer array, you just go to delay. You can do a multi-select of all your subwoofers. You just adjust the delay, done. If you then want to turn down the level of your front fills down, just select all your front fills change the level, done. So basically all parameters you need for tuning your system are just there in some menu. And that's the big benefit of SonyQ being real a system software and not device centric like many other software. So in case uh, you want to leave your system for a non-expert user, you may want to create some custom graphical user interface. Therefore, we have in SonyQ a so-called panel designer. So this is the panel design running our, on our TPC1 touch panel installed in the display. Um, the same panel designer is used to create interfaces for use on iPad or iPhones uh, with our SonyQ control app for iOS. Um, you can also create user interfaces for use on a Windows desktop PC, running the SonyQ control app on a Windows desktop. What you see here is a user interface that has been created to run on a TPC1 touch panel controller. So if we now got your interest, so feel free to visit our Dynacode website for some additional information, to download application notes, the SonyQ software, our plugins, to train yourself for self-education, visit our Dynacode YouTube channel. You will find a series of SonyQ videos they build each on the next the other one. If you want to earn CTS credit points, you can register in our learning management system. There you find various training passes, uh, which allow you to get trained even better. And if then you have some open questions, feel free to contact either our tech support or application design teams. They will answer for sure all your questions. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.